Research Group in association with you. Welcome to Okay, get out of bed. Wake up call. Uh, hey folks, welcome to After Work Gaming. Uh, this is a game called Moons of Madness. It came out late October 2019 uh, from Funcom and Rock Pocket Games, I believe. And I don't know too much. I've sort of been in this room testing video and audio settings, and that's pretty much it. I know it's supposed to be spooky. I know it's supposed to be set in space. I think it's on Mars, actually, because Deimos, Phobos, uh, those are the two moons. And then I also know that it's related to The Secret World, which is a game I never played. So if there are references here that I'm not getting, please uh, put them in the comments below as long as they're not spoilers. Uh, and to the extent that they help explain sort of what's going on. And that's kind of it. So let's just get going here. Home, I imagine, would be Earth then. Monday, 509. Happy birthday to me. To do, turn off sprinklers, oxygenate diagnosti oxygenator diagnostics, tune bio gauge, and then there's chess winds. Okay. Let's go through here. <gasps> okay. Hello? Anyone there? Up this flashlight. Well, let's keep... What the hell happened here? Yeah, let's keep the flashlight there for now. Sereno arrival in zero days. Solar panel cleanup from Declan. Satellite maintenance, airlock check, EVA suit diagnostic mineral sample sorting. Drop crop slash plant care. Next EVA expedition. Reigning chess champion. Have you seen the witch, I want to say? Now let's pick up the flashlight. Um, for those of you guys who have not watched me play through any of these kind of games, um, I like to take my time, walk around, find all these little bits of lore and text, and just okay, read through them. Just because I, I like the story behind this almost uh, as much as just playing through the game itself. So meet me in the usual place. Bring drink. Okay. Power cord chewed. Ina, is one of your specimens loose? I don't want to know what kind of specimens. Maybe rats, maybe? They'll chew on stuff, right? So red. Ooh. Okay. Red is bad. Green is good. Red is bad. Green is good. Bathroom bad. That's the same symbol as before. Yeah. And then... You know, there's... Stuff on the. What is that? Um. Tentacle goo? I'm gonna go and say we're dreaming. Just gonna throw that out there. Yeah. Definitely not real. I hope. <laughs> Otherwise, this thing went from 0 to 60 remarkably fast. Okay. Airlock, that's blocked by a giant thing. Greenhouse? Sure. Look. I know where to go but forward. Same symbol. Is that what the witch is? Is that the thing? Maybe? Maybe is this like in media res? Broken. Okay. You know, like it, it, it we're gonna be dumped in the middle of the story and then the rest of it's gonna be flashback up until we catch up. It's possible. Oops. Yeah, okay, we're... Until I get something in my hands that lets me bash things, I'm not... Okay, I know that that's a door I can open. I'm not going to that greenhouse. Okay. Ooh, speaking of things to bash things with. Yeah, add to inventory. Man, in this situation, don't ask me to click twice, please. <laughs> can I equip? No? Okay. Well, greenhouse it is. I know there's a broken door. I could probably jimmy it open with a crowbar, but... I just wanna... It's a closed door. That's dirt. I'm just gonna pretend like that's dirt and not dried on, caked on blood or something. Okay. Alright, so let's see if I can... 
pry open the door now that I have a crowbar. I'm kind of surprised this stuff doesn't hurt me, especially the waving tentacles. But, you know, it is what it is. Alright, so pry open. Huh. Check it out, I got the same symbol on my hand as was on the walls. Pry. Can we... Can I peek a little closer, please? Did you not see that shadow? No, don't look away. There's a... Th Why are you looking away when there's clearly a shadow that was standing here and it's a corridor, so clearly the thing was, like, right there. And now we're just behind a closed door. Great. Okay. Come. Blow out the candle. Do I... Do I have to, though? Do I have... Where's my... Okay, my flashlight no longer works. Great. Oh. Okay. Fine. Balloons? What? Oh my god. What was that? <laughs> oh! Rise and shine, folks! Is everybody okay? I almost spilled my coffee. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'll, I'll have to check the readings, but that may have been our biggest quake yet. Standard procedure. Newhart, you know what to do. If there's any critical damage to the base, let me know. Yeah, okay, uh, no problem. Dr. Van Buren, you will assist me at the landing site for the Cyrano. Declan, you're on comms. Find any system issues, relay them to Shane. Aye, aye, Captain. Switch to a private frequency, Declan. No chatter on open channels. Over and out. Private channel time. All right, so same room. So clearly our room. <laughs> Shane Newhart, I'm assuming, is me. Uh, Miskatonic University, for those of you who don't know, that's a pretty central place. In and what better way to start the day than assessing possible life-threatening damage from minor seismic activity? Hmm, beautiful. <laughs> that's what I've been told. Okay, Declan, calm down. Well, you know, I play chess, so it can't be that bad. Uh, yeah, so that's a pretty central place from the Lovecraft mythos. Uh, it's Miskatonic University. It's kind of like an occult place that a lot of weird stuff happens and a lot of major scholars of the occult come from. Ooh. Well, there's a code. Okay, good luck out there, sport. Dad. Cool. Flip. I should memorize this. Oh, 509. Way ahead of you. What else we got? Orochi Group. Shane Newhart. There we go. That's us. Engineer. Uh, we believe that healthy, productive, and enduring life on Earth results from the correct management of its resources in government, public, and private projects around the globe. We are leveraging new technologies to provide the best solutions. Report of misplaced. Reliable, reliable responsible, revolutionary. The Orochi Group and our subsidiaries are not only world leaders, we are led by the world. Our promise to you is that our products and services will rise to the challenge of a changing landscape as we race into the future together. I put that in my inventory. Probably should walk around here with a key card if I want to get in places, right? What else we got? I know this is a computer, but I'm assuming that's going to be progress of some kind. Hmm. No, I don't have my flashlight on me. Not that surprising, I suppose. Okay, a rock. I'm just going to put it there? Like that? Okay. Alright, let's read this real quick. Hmm. Dear Dad read. Uh, no, I kind of can read it from the page, right? Dear Dad, I have a confession I want to tell you. No. Hey there. No. I've already rewritten this letter six times. I'll probably rewrite it several more. I have a lot of time before I can actually send it to you. You deserve to... I'll put it in plain. I'm not in Antarctica. Yeah, no, no kidding. That expedition doesn't exist, or if it does, I'm not on it. I went a little further. I went to Mars. I hope you can... Forgive me, the deception is not a slight. The company takes their secrecy very seriously. In fact, you will already probably have seen me again in person before I'm allowed to send this to you. I want you to hear it from me. I want you to know I love you. What I really want to tell you... Oh, that's it? I can't flip it over? Okay, so you're not finished writing the letter. Okay, so we're actually lying to everybody, and this is just a secret mission, huh? What else? Log in... Can I type? No. 0509. Perfect. And 
there we are. There's uh, Orochi. I think that's the that's the name of the company we work for, right? So, memo, Declan, security update. Re all personnel, please be aware of the new security update that's taking place tomorrow. You might be stuck in your room for a while. Yeah, the door's locked. Write down the code somewhere so you'll remember it. Management. Solar site programming. All right, let's start from the bottom because that's the first one, right? Hey, Declan. Can't find anything listed for troubleshooting the solar arrays coding. I've run diagnostics each time and nothing out of the ordinary. It's starting to become a daily thing. Time to file the issue with command, I think. Even if they can shoot me a workaround, it's better than constantly triggering auxiliary power. Shame. All right, so that's us to Declan. Good morning there, sports. That's Declan back. Wilcox was kind enough to let you sleep in a little today, but that also means that Dr. Van Buren is tagging along on an EVA to the Surino landing site. So... I'll put a pin on longing the issue with command until he's back. I know Lucas has been tinkering with some of the bio gauge code. Okay, I don't know what that is. So check with him first. Plus, you'll have a chance to catch up with the doctor. Eh, make some small talk. Manticore NDA. Your Manticore NDA has been revised. For those who don't know, an NDA stands for non-disclosure agreement. Uh, it's basically an agreement to keep quiet about something. And this is a secret mission to Mars, so not surprising. Dr. Newhart, there has been an update to your comprehensive NDA. Please log in at your earliest convenience. This is only a courtesy. All changes have already gone into effect. Best regards, C.D. Ward, head of HR, Manticore. I don't think that's how it works, man. I think you actually have to see the changes before they go into effect. Or you have to be aw you have to be aware of them. And you have to actually give a sort of a rundown of the major changes. But that eh, could be wrong. So Invictus mission, survey of microbial life on Mars. The rule of two is an exciting concept when we discover one example of a phenomenon in the cosmos, it is an anomaly. Given the vastness of the universe, if two examples are found, it implies there are many more millions, billions, trillions. As of now, we are only certain of life on Earth, an anomaly. But all we have to do is find a second. Any life will do. Even primitive alien microbes, even fossils of microbial life billions of years dead. That one finding will open up a universe teeming with life. All we have to do is get to two. And of course we have, in the real world, we have microbial samples of... Okay. Confirming my ID bypassed security for my room. Doors unlocked now. Or um, I'm sorry. In the real world, in the real world, we have remnants, fossilized remnants of what we believe to be microbial life on Mars. So there we are. Well, the rest of the team's out dusting the landing pad, and Dr. Volkova's apparently deep into her biocultivation duties. So I guess that means you have the base all to yourself. And where are you? Once more, I venture into the great unknown, on duty at the satellite dish, and currently communicating, which is technically my job, kind of. Uh, okay, so you know what's interesting here? Before we get too far along, um, check it out. Almost every piece of text, do not use permanent mark on a race board. Okay. Yeah, okay, somebody's being Weisenheimer. Um... Almost everything, maybe I don't remember that sticky note, but everything else was here in our dream, which means that it was there since before. So this has been a while now that this stuff has been around, these sticky notes and all that. Check it out, by the way. Our hand has that weird sign on it, the two circles. Interact. Okay. We're an engineer on a secret Mars mission, by the way, just so we're clear about who's playing with this toy, with this toy uh, space plane. Do I have two? Is it two watch straps? All right. Uh, okay, so that's green, that's red. All right, green is good, red is bad. Here we go. Security protocols. Greetings, crewmate. As a member of the Invictus team and an employee of Manticore Orochi, there are security protocols that you must not fail to obey. Any Orochi facility, including the Mars base, is sectioned by security clearance. Not every employee may go into every section. Your ID card contains a number denoting your level of security clearance. I think we're level one. Your ID is necessary to access all doors, sectors, and computers of a given level of security clearance. Do not attempt to access areas of equipment beyond your security clearance. Do not attempt to coerce teammates to give you access to their security clearance. Do not give teammates of lower security clearance access to out-of-bounds areas and equipment. Do not immediately report any regular... Uh, do, I'm sorry, immediately report any regularities or breaks in security protocol to Invictus Security or Orochi Group.com. Given the nature of the work at Manticore and Orochi, those protocols are in place to protect you from catastrophic mishaps and consequences. If you are unaware of your clearance or of these protocols, contact your superior. Thank you for your vigilance. All right, pretty standard secrety secret corporate stuff. 
that. Okay. Let's see here. Absolutely nothing useful. Whoa. What the hell? Hey, what's up with the lights? Uh, yeah, getting some odd spikes in power as the batteries kick in. Hey, you, you just hang tight while I do your job for you, okay? No, have a coffee. No, really, take, take a load off. Thanks, Declan. Uh, okay, let's just check out of here. Manticore. Uh, it has a Rochi letterhead, so it's official. Uh, replacement photo ID pictures of your uh, for your approval, Commander Wilcox, management. You clean a pretty nice Delapore. Approved. Okay. I wonder who's who, but sure. Is that a thing? Can we read that thing? No? No. Just out of curiosity. Investigation, Fishman, Sunrise. Dictator and Joker. All right, so this is like reading material for people who are just bored out of their minds because they're stuck on Mars. Source code. Matryoshka dolls. Africa funny stories. I'm sure there's a bunch of stuff in there, but, you know, as much as I like to read it, uh, a bunch of the stuff around and, this, like, mess with the set dressing, um, I feel like people would go insane if I just read every single one of the book covers. Okay, somebody left their food. Low on dark roast coffee. Who put up this sticky note about the witch? You like my drawing? I made it last night. Hmm. Do I like poking fun at a shared paranoid delusion while everyone is tired and isolated from human contact on Mars? Okay, killer. Remind me not to talk to you before you've had your coffee. So the witch is a thing. It's not just like some guy being screwing around. Like a shared paranoid delusion? That means that everybody else or others are having that problem. No, we're not having another cup. Sorry. We're not going to wash it? We're just going to be disgusting like that? Okay, fine. Blame the witch. If you don't get any coffee, blame the witch. Okay, sure. Oh, nice. Uh, can you check your bio gauge and see if your daily objectives have been updated? Copy that. Crap. What's up? I, uh, I seem to have misplaced my bio gauge. Josie saw it in the lab on her way out. Told me to tell you. Better get it before you do anything else. Speaking of which, that should do it. I fixed the lounge door to the lab. So shift to run. Fine. Yeah, see? On pain of death, do your dishes. Yeah, yeah, Shane. Do the dishes. Nah, whatever. Mm. Bacon and eggs Bacon it is. Bacon and eggs it is. Jinx. I wonder, between the drinking and the eating, is, does that mean that there's going to be, like, a survival mechanic in this game? Uh, I actually don't know how, like, action-filled this is. I know it's supposed to be moody, and it's supposed to have a lot of this, like, interesting lore around. But I don't know if there's going to be combat, right? Okay, we got flashlight. What's in here? Oh, nice. Anyone up for a group meditative yoga? Let me know. Lucas. Okay, so this is a gym. Resistance bands. Right, right. Okay. Lucas, clean equipment after use, everyone. Yeah, Lucas. So shift to run. Cool. Research lab. All right, that's where we're going because we need that bio gauge thing. Okay. Serious question time. When you get Earthside, are you going to ask Manticore for a raise? Oh, T. You think if I ask, they'll give it to me? No. <sighs> Okay, uh, that's interesting. Timed radio responses. I'm kind of curious how that's going to play in. Uh, is there anything here interesting? No. I know that sound. A broken door. So weird. Deja vu. Yeah. There was a stuck door in the dream I had. That's not important. It's, it's just weird. Uh, you're forgetting the last three times something malfunctioned in this over-engineered campsite. Yeah, okay. So this is where... I mean, real deja vu, man. Like, it, not the fact that we found the crowbar, but the fact that we found the crowbar in the same place. Tumbled out of the same... Okay, whatever, it doesn't matter. Alright, let's open it up. Right open. I wonder what that symbol means, man. That symbol is on our hand. Like, scarred into our hand. Now, 
where is that bio cage? What's this? Is this it? No good. I think there's a reset button somewhere. Well, there it is. Flip it. Reset. Just my luck. I need to find something that can fit in there. Okay. Declan, I found the bio gauge, but it won't turn on. I need to reset it. Uh, find something small and thin. A pen should work. Speaking of. Does it turn on now? Nice. There. Got it working. Great. You should be able to reboot the security system now. Just scan the servers with the bio gauge. Okay, cool. By the way, I didn't need a pen. I could just use that, but, you know. All right, sure. That's nice. interesting. Connect. Okay. Reboot, yes. Nice. Quake probably knocked the panels out of alignment. This has been an ongoing issue. I'll have to adjust the solar panels manually. We're not going to comment on what is going on here? I mean, these are terrifying by themselves, but this? This is clearly what took over the entire ship in my dream, right? And it's in a pot, and it's got tentacles, and it's... Alright, I'm not looking at that anymore. That thing's awful. Okay, looks in order. Mmm, it's a rock. Yes, Shane. Right, let's just look around this room before we move on, right? Because what's our next objective is go to the solar panel site because the solar panel is out of alignment, right? That is the same security clearance document we just read. This is not okay. Log 1. Supplement the log regarding our ongoing survey of samples in the search for evidence of microbial life on the planet Mars. The rule of two is an exciting concept. When we discover one exact... No, we, we read this one. Okay, so log 2. Samples from areas A. A1 through 15. Analyze. No signs of microbial fossils. Log 3. Samples from areas A16 through 27. Analyzed. Organic molecules discovered in ancient rock. The precursor and building blocks to life, though not yet proof of microbes. Log 4, A2839, no fossils. Log 5, A40 through 56, no, fo no signs of fossils. Log 6, last entry. Samples from areas 57 through 68 analyzed, no fossils. However, Declan says he found a promising site some 36 kilometers east of base. We'll send him directly there for the next set of samples. And I I'm guessing that's where he is right now because he said he's out in like the, the wild yonder or whatever it is that he described it as. Okay. Man, it's still dark. I rebooted it and it's still dark. I need to get these solar panels up. Um, yeah, so we're analyzing rocks. Same document that we saw before. Whoa! Nothing? Nothing? I think that might be the path. But here it is. Here's that sign. I, I, people are drawing it. That means it's got to mean something, right? I mean, it's not just in our heads. And on our hand. Those things look like, like eyes, by the way, right there. Lucas, Mission Control wants you to crunch some numbers on a potential future visit to the two moons. Think over the logistics of both an Earth-launched and Mars-launched mission. Work some rough calculations for both scenarios. Make this a priority. Also, ah, check it out. Same loopy A, same person who kept the log, right? So also, have a look at the moon orbits. Phobos should be 1.4 Martian diameters out with a 7.66 hour orbit. And Deimos at 3.5 di diameters and 30 to 35 hours. But Mission Control says this showed up as significantly closer and faster. Might be a glitch. I'll leave you to it, Josie. And Josie, I think, is the commander, right? It's like Josie Wilcox, right? That was the name, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, we're not going to go there yet because there's clearly more stuff here. <laughs> Arms. And that's a leg. Okay, so we got what? Robots? Androids? Cyborgs? Na, 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 na. Okay, we got an x-ray. Unclear, actually, whether these are for robots or for, like, 
our crew Repli replacement parts, you know? Uh, you got a green screen? What the hey? Fade in. <laughs> okay, this is cool. So, fade in. Interior, Antarctic Outpost Z17 Day. Antarctic Outpost Engineering Area near a window overlooking an icy hillside and clear sky. The team is standing. Team, greetings from the South Pole. Wilcox, this is Commander Josie Wilcox. There it is. Of the Antarctic Post C-17. We're here testing solutions for plant growth in, in the harshest conditions on Earth. Exterior, ice flow. An icy beach area overlooking several ice flows where penguins splash amongst the waves. Delapore is kneeling near the water, taking in the beautiful scenery. Delapore. As you can see, it's penguin mating season, so we're sitting... We're getting all kinds of visitors to the outpost. If I read... And it breaks this formatting? No. It's much better this way. A penguin enters the ice flow from the right. Delaport continued. This little guy is a chinstrap penguin. While a chinstrap penguin is still thri uh, still thriving, its natural habitat is threatened each year. Exterior, facility and distance. An erosion facility covered in fresh layer of snow operates in the background, uh, sending up clouds of steam. Newhart stands, that's us, gesturing behind him at the amazing engineering. Brrr. But, as you can see, Orochi's patented Antarctic subconductive coils burrow deep into the poles, causing steady ice flows even during these hot summer months. So we're really taking it far with this whole we're not on Mars thing, huh? We're like gaslighting everybody. It's kind of cool. Okay, what do we got else? Invictus, that's the name of our expedition, right? What is Invictus? Our raunchy group is proud to announce unprecedented feat of science and human potential. Welcome to Invictus, Earth's, Earth's first long-term space station on Mars. The Invictus program will be ready to launch the very near future, and we know you have questions. Why private space travel? We admire and are thankful to the pioneering work of organizations like NASA, but there are limitations to any government institution. Orochi, as a global corporate entity, has resources and expertise that knows no boundaries. We are uniquely situated to take space exploration to its next level. We are eager to show you. Why explore the stars? Exploring the space, uh, exploring the space, the space, okay, not only furthers humankind's knowledge, it also inspires new technologies that make life for the rest of us on Earth that much better. What is Orochi Group? Orochi is the world's largest multinational corporation composed of dynamic subsidiaries. Together, we form eight heads facing forward to an innovative horizon. We see... That is a horrible sentence. We see limitations as a challenge and the impossible as a dare. We will push boundaries. We will pursue excellence. We will change the world. Orochi Group, we will. Anansi Technologies leaders in computer hardware and software. Anansi Technology that cares. And Manticore, Paragon of Aerospace Defense and the Industrial Design. Manticore, we bring you the horizon. I'm guessing those are the two subsidiaries. Close. And that's it. Kind of don't like that all these computers are offline, but I'm assuming that has to do more with the solar arrays. Oh, Lord. Um, we're not going to read through the NDA, are we? This is like the whole non-disclosure agreement. I'm not going to read this thing, guys. <laughs> I I can't. I'm gonna get. <laughs> I'm gonna ha I'm gonna have flashbacks to my job. So March 2051. Uh, that gives you the date at least. Definitions, definitions. All right, next page just to see. Uh, flipping through this monstrosity once was more than enough. Yeah, I'm with you, man. I am with you. Uh, okay, so. Is that it? Yeah. There we go. Mineral analysis of Martian soil and rocks. Declan. Employed Manticore's X3 spectrometer to analyze Martian rock and soil samples to identify the relative abundance of iron-bearing minerals, including carbonates, phyllosilicates, clays, hydroxyoxides, phosphates, oxides, silicates, sulfides, sulfates. Measurement of the ferric to ferrous ratio, determination of the properties of magnetic phases, including the size distribution of magnetic particles, nanophase versus large particles in the Martian soil. This data provides information regarding the nature of the atmosphere surface chemical and physical weathering processes involving iron bearing phases we shall find this relevant in studying the re-evolution of volatiles in climate over time on mars because surface materials are major volatile sinks in point of fact the problem associated with understanding the evolution of volatiles on mars is understanding the processes in the past and or present that are responsible for oxidizing the red planet the x3 spectrometer is a prototype of manticore cnda entry performed admirably We'll write more in-depth notes on improvements that might be made for future productions as Commander Wilcox broadens our exploration. We will analyze a wider array of samples. 
Interesting. Well, I mean, that goes hand in hand with what we're doing up here, right? We're looking for... Ah, and we're back at the creepy plant. Okay, so let's just... Trailblazer Alpha. I don't know what that is, but okay. Solar side, power output, kind of half. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. Let's just get up here real quick. Am I going to miss anything? It's just a sheet of paper. Just more books. Can't read that. I can't, uh, well, can't read it, yeah. Can't pick it up, I mean. Uh, let's just quickly run the perimeter. Just to see if there's anything here worth looking at. That is clearly a greenhouse over there. <laughs> I can see the trees. Although, I kind of like that, you know, space efficiency-wise, every single corner that has a plant usually has some sort of edible plant. Like, there's tomatoes everywhere. Um... Just as I say that, there's a bunch of non-edible plants. All right, never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. But there it is. There's the tomato plant. That's what I was talking about. Okay, let's go out here. Airlock, right? Okay, cool. Let's back here. A lot of... A lot of nothing. Oh, yeah, that's just the same thing. So I guess the... What, the lab is in the center... Storage. Shane, man, you gotta get in shape, dude. Yeah, see? This guy, all this has to be food. You got a gym. Do you not hit the gym around here? Alright, let's just check out real quick what's down here and then we'll come back. Infirmary, nothing. I just wanna see if there's some more story here before we clearly leave, because I think we have to go outside, right? Storage area? Nails, no. Well, that doesn't exactly cause... A I mean, that, I wouldn't hold that in the same storage area as, like, other stuff, but sure. Biohazard canisters? Why not? Labeled danger and everything? Let's see, let's see, let's see. It's kind of a maze here. Everything's stacked up, but that's fine. Although I'm wondering, like I said, I don't know the amount of action in this game. So I'm wondering if there's going to be some hiding, some sneaking, right? Well, who knows? Okay, so there's not much here. It's just, it's actually a storage room. Anything on these shelves that is worth looking at? No? Okay, let's go back. So now, what do we got to do? We got to go outside. We got to go arrange the arrays. Okay. Oops, sorry. Open the door. We're in the airlock. Cool. Right? We gotta go here. Fill station. Modular air system. The NST Breathe Easy system allows for quick and easy resupply of any breathing apparatus and is compatible with a number of attachment modules. Okay. We got our helmets. We got spacesuits. Am I wearing a spacesuit now? Is that the idea? Put a helmet on to interact. Locked. Put on a helmet before leaving. Okay. Let's get a helmet. Cool. Oh, here we go. Oxygen level 20%. Well, that's not good. We can refill it. Okay. So maybe this is... I, see, I don't know how many of these mechanics will be necessary going forward. I'm assuming at least the oxygen level, right? But... Who knows? And I'm assuming also oxygen... I may be wrong. Maybe oxygen is an actual thing that, that people measure when they go to do EVAs. Cycle the airlock. Uh, because I'm just thinking, like, when you scuba dive, for example, you don't do oxygen. It's air that you that you keep track of. Oh, hello. Gotta go there. Yes. Meerkat rover, Martian carriage. All-terrain is one of my of course, proudest innovations in off-world transportation and exploration. The stylish rover come with advanced suspension systems, reinforced triple alloy hull, and an energy-efficient state of the art power grid built to safely get you from point A to point B around the red planet. Nice. I will be back in a second. 96%? Yeah, this is definitely a mechanic that has to stay in this game, then. I'm just wondering if there's... Man, I can run a fair distance, but I'm not gonna. Because A, I don't know how much air I can have, and B... I'm going to keep calling it air, guys. I'm sorry. Like I said, in, in diving, you keep track of the air. 
partly because of pressure, oxygen, pure oxygen becomes toxic, so you just don't, you know, it's like, oh, it's an air tank, it's not an oxygen tank that we take. And so I'm wondering if that's different in, um, 91%, jeez, okay, here we go. Yeah, if movies have taught me anything, it's here. Yes. <laughs> um, yes, I'm just going to keep calling it air, guys, I'm sorry. Refill air, perfect. See, refill air, oh, two levels, who cares? Okay, let's push this first, yeah? Nice. Okay, let's refill my air. Because I'm assuming... I'm assuming the cat is not... Like... Air-filled? Just seems unnecessary. Um... Okay. Enter, perfect. Let's do it. Cat rover, hydraulics, engine power. Start the engine. Do I control this thing? Not really. Just press Declan forward. And I am buckled in and headed to the solar panel array. Well, now you've got nothing to do but listen to me. Just when my migraine was starting to clear up. I'm actually glad to have the Sierra landing today. Some fresh faces, and supplies, distractions. Everyone's so on edge lately. I don't know, maybe I'm just imagining it. These dreams are starting to get to me. Yeah, you're not the only one having strange dreams there, Ace. You too? Oh yeah. I mean, put yourself in my shoes. You log out after your shift, eat some rehydrated meatloaf, and bunk down for the night. But the second you fall asleep, it feels like you're back at your desk and you hear the static again. Calibrate, more static, calibrate, then something sounds different. It's a pattern. You start decoding it, it's gibberish, but the static keeps talking. It wants you to hear the symbols. They're just dreams. Yeah, and uh, then I wake up and there's scribbled notes around me. Feels like I haven't slept at all. All right, I showed you mine. Now lay it on me. Dreams, nightmares, fantasies, your deepest, darkest fears. Let's hear it. Sorry, I just pulled up to the office. I'll have to get back to you on all that. Eh, suit yourself. The anticipation is killing me. Shane, I'm not gonna... Not to tell you your job or anything. Uh, but how are you so chipper when that guy just told you he hears Static talking to him and then he wakes up with having a bunch of scribbled notes around him? Checkpoint reached. Okay, uh, you know what? Um, I think for episode one that's probably gonna do it. I mean, obviously I'm gonna pick up exactly where we left off here. And I am really looking forward to it because I'm kind of curious because it seems like there's a bigger problem going on. And look at that. There's one of the moons. Yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you want notifications, click the bell. Uh, it's the best way for me to know that I'm doing something right. If you think I missed something, if you think I should be doing something differently, by all means, also leave a comment. And in either case, I'll see you all next time. Better, 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 better